Okay, so this should be our final test for this setup for a screen capture and electronic music production process. Uh, what we've done is we've enabled the ability to record a mic over the desktop, enabled the ability to play audio from a YouTube or other source, and also captured the output of a DAW, in this instance Ableton Live 11, uh, through our audio interface and routing through a screen capture software, uh, in this instance, GeForce Experience Shadow Play. So to start the process, we hit Alt F9, which starts the recording. And this is where we're at. I'm speaking. Uh, typically, that's for most users how it would go. In this instance, the way I have it routed, I actually created a template in Ableton Live which enables me to capture the voice from the desktop. Um, so that's technically the first step. If we look at Ableton, I've got that loaded up and my voice is in this channel. Uh, we'll go back to that in a couple of minutes, but that's how we're capturing it right now, my voice anyway. Uh, before that though, you need your audio interface set up properly. So I'm gonna show my examples in the control panel of the interface I have sample rate, sample rate buffer set as these. I have the phones assigned to phones, main out one and two, and phone return set to main out one, two. The next setting you want to look at is the window setting, which I have set to Motu phones one, two. And then we also have a control panel mixer app that enables us to do various things. So I've had the trim turned up. I have this set to stereo so that the input of the mic doesn't come in at mono and only play through the left channel. Uh, initially, that was an issue I had, uh, but now we've sorted that out. And so you should be hearing my voice through the left and right of your speaker or headphones. Um, so that said, everything is good in there. We can minimize that. We've looked at our audio interface settings here. We can get rid of those. And here's our template we built in Ableton. Uh, we'll go to that to finalize the process. Here we are in Ableton. We have a mic set up, external in one, two. We have our cue set and record enabled. We also have a sample VST synth loaded on the right. Same settings as well. Cue so that I can hear it. W without those cued, I won't be able to hear it. You, the recording would still capture it, but I won't be able to hear it without these two checked. The next, we look at our cue out here. We have this set to 13 and 14, which is my headphones. And then we have our master out one to two, which I believe sends the return and send to GeForce Shadow Play to allow it to capture this. So if we look, we're speaking now, but when I want to play a synth, I just push a key on my MIDI controller and you should hear that fine. Okay, so you should have heard that just fine, which pretty basic stuff, but for the most part, it's problematic in routing. The main thing we were trying to accomplish was the ability to speak into the microphone, capture audio from Ableton Live, but also record audio from the desktop. So in this instance, I'm gonna load a YouTube video. We should hear the audio just fine and still be able to capture all of our stuff. So I'm gonna just play this sample video. Okay, so you should have heard that video just fine. It works for any video, any other app uh, with this setup. And so we're back in Ableton, we're with our mic. Uh, if you were recording an audio and you didn't want the mic kind of feedback, if you were concerned with that, you would just unrecord and enable. And so while I was away, I said, you shouldn't have heard my voice. Hopefully you didn't, if everything worked properly. And uh, yeah, so that's the basic setup. We've got, you know, everything routed properly. Everything's pretty clear. And uh, we're able to like, you know, play music and produce while we're screen capturing and also speak. So this would be the ideal setup for anyone trying to do video tutorials or kind of make uh, 
electronic music live on a video for stream or for uh, you know just uploading to YouTube to show people what you're working on. Um, hopefully this kind of gives some inspiration and idea to anyone struggling with this. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and ask. I'll help. And uh, appreciate you. Have a good day. Bye.